life. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, push that subscribe button so you don't miss another cleaning, organizing, decluttering video. Plus I do a, a bunch of other things too. So, so I have, yes, I'm crazy. I am doing another challenge and I have yet to finish the other challenge that I was doing, the 10 day cleaning challenge. I will finish that. So I have been invited by Sophia at my great challenge along with Dee from Dee Love Your Life to join her in a 28 day, um, D, uh, 28 day cleaning routine challenge. So um, she, Sophia does fly lady. And um, at first I'm like, I don't wanna do fly lady. But she's like, it's all right, that's fine. Do whatever your routine is and that's fine. So um, I'm gonna do my own thing um, as I normally do because uh, apparently I'm a non-conformist. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you know, I don't like to follow the rules. So I wanna follow my own rules and change it up a little bit, but all last year I tried to do routine and then I just gave up. Not gave up. I said, forget it. I don't I'm just gonna clean when I clean. But um which everybody was like, Bravo, just clean. You don't have to follow fly lady, you don't have to follow clean mama, you don't have to follow what's the other one? I don't know. Um anyway, so I am gonna try to do some kind of a routine. Which I keep writing lists and then I don't follow them. Um, so I have something in mind. It's kind of Clean Mama-ish, but I don't know. I don't really know everything about Clean Mama. So I do like Fly Lady's um, um, weekly home blessing. So today I did a weekly home blessing. So this is just an intro. I'm not going to clean today. So um, D and... Uh, Sophia are going to be doing a video every day. I cannot commit to that because I already have some prior commitments. So I'm going to do a once a week montage. Well, I'm the, my first montage will be like um, Thursday, next Thursday. So you're going to see this on Saturday and I'm recording on Friday. So I did a weekly home blessing today. Um, and then, so I got my house back to square one pretty much. So, which was my goal for January, to have that done by February 1st, and today's the 2nd, so not bad. <laughs> anyway, so, so I'm going to show you what I did for my weekly home blessing, and then um, Thursday, again, I'm going to do the montage, and then the following week, I may be able to post a video twice a week, so, and then I'll go from there. And so it will be my my daily routine. And um, but today is going to be weekly home blessing. I'm just going to show you what I've already done and what I plan to do um, the rest of this month. Um, this is me. This is not me and um, what I've already done. This is me trying to figure out um, to do to get into the habit because it takes 21 days to make to for something to become a habit. So thank you for Sophia for kicking me in the butt to get me onto a routine, I think. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I had not planned for this, and so, um, yeah, so I'm having to wing it. Um, but I have started a list a long time ago. Um, I showed that last year, what I have in mind to do. So let me just stop talking and show you what I did today. Uh, made my bed. Did you make your bed today? I posted a make your bed challenge. So this is great because it goes in conjunction with it. Last year I did make my bed more often, but not every day. So this month I want to try to make my bed every day. And that jumps me, jump starts me for, to get my house cleaned and do the um, routine. I have like five things that I want to do every morning. Now this morning I did that but I did not do it first thing in the morning. And that's the kind of thing that I want to do. I want to get it out of the way in the morning. If I don't, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. You know, what if, if I go to the gym in the morning, then when I come back from the gym, then do that. I'm good with that. But ideally, I would like to do it first thing in the morning. And I made my bed at 7.30 this morning. That was probably the earliest I've ever made my bed. Um, all right, so let me just show you what I did for the weekly home blessing. Well, 
I think Fly Lady is, you know, you um, clean the bathrooms, you sweep, you sweep and mop, or vacuum and mop, um, and straighten up the whole entire house. You vacuum and mop the main areas of the house. And that is kind of what I did, but I'm going to bring you around the house and show you the areas that still need some attention. And um, so I'm going to do, show you that. I want to do five things and I'll show you my list every day on a daily uh, basis. Uh, one of them's like make my bed and then one extra thing a day and that's going to be random. I don't have it planned. I'm not going to say I'm going to do laundry on Monday and the bathrooms on Tuesday which I believe that's what uh, Clean Mama does and she does dusting on another day. I'm just going to pick something randomly how I feel like what I feel like doing that today. I can't I just just how my mind works and um Sometimes you can't force yourself to do those things. Um, it doesn't feel natural. So um, I'm gonna do what I feel like doing that today. If I write on, if I write on my planner that I'm going to do laundry every every Wednesday, that doesn't. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know what to tell you. So I'm gonna stop talking and show you a few things. So, um, I did, again, I did a weekly home blessing and I want I didn't time myself, but I want to say it took about an hour and a half. No, normally I do a weekly cleaning and it takes me all day to get it done. So I was pleasantly surprised that I got this done in an hour and a half. Again, I didn't time myself, but I'm pretty sure. So first thing was I made my bed. Now I did that first thing this morning and then I took a break. Because I wasn't planning on doing this. And then D called me and we talked for an hour. And then I'm like, after we talked, um, I said, all right, I got to get started. I think I'm going to do a weekly home blessing. So I didn't like dust and everything like that. I just made the bed. And I decluttered. Not, you know, like got rid of stuff. Decluttered as in I picked up the clothes off the floor and that kind of thing. But I didn't dust. And I didn't wind next to windows. That is more the extra thing that I'm going to do a day or deep cleaning. Okay, the other thing I did was I cleaned the bathroom. So the bathroom is all clean. Toilet's clean. It is uh, vacuumed and mop. And the extra thing I did today was I did the shower. Um, which you'll see in another video. I deep cleaned the shower today and I actually refreshed the um, tub area, but I'm not going to show you that because that's in a video coming up on Monday. So, okay, so this bathroom got cleaned. It was just like the toilet and the sink and, and vacuum and mop. I didn't clean that shower, which we don't even use. So I didn't deep clean anything, just, you know, apparently swish and swipe. And my office didn't get clean because there's nothing in there. <laughs> in case you don't know and you're new to my channel, you're coming over from Sophia's channel. I am doing a craft room renovation. It's getting new flooring. So that point is moot. There's nothing to clean there. So so I didn't do anything with the dining room because the drawer, it wasn't messy. Now there are some boxes here, but these are the um, shelving and cabinets that are going into the craft room. So I have nowhere else to put them right now. So our house is under construction a little bit. So yeah. And I just swept or vacuumed and mopped this area. I do have a few things out because I'm going to do some Valentine's decor and I'm not done doing that, but it's pretty much straightened. And I did a deep clean of this area and another video and I will put the link down below because previous to doing this, I did uh, a 10 day challenge, which I still have three days left. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be finishing up that 10 day clean with me challenge put on by Mickey at my bashful life. Okay, so I straightened up this area. So I straightened up the whole house. I and mean, I mean straighten, I don't mean cl clean, you know. So I know this looks a little messy, but again, this is from my craft room. I have nowhere to put it. Um, we're starting to put together cabinets. So, you know, it is what it is. And I straightened up my um, desk. This is where my desk is temporarily because I need to be able to use my computer. It's not completely clean. That would be an extra thing a day that I would need to do. So here's another extra thing that I would need to do too. The, um, yeah, <laughs> the laundry room has gotten cluttered up because I'm in decluttering and stuff and stuff just gets thrown into the, um, 
laundry room. So that would be something that I would need to do. The extra thing. And stuff like this. Decluttering up a space like that. Okay, one of my daily finds would obviously be clean the kitchen. And I don't like say I'm going to do the dishes. I'm going to, um, I don't know. <laughs> clean the fridge all that kind of stuff it's just clean the kitchen in general which basically is doing the dishes and wiping the counters now my goal my goal is to not have this <laughs> to stay on top of the dishes my dishes is the worst um my worst problem i would like to to contain it to this one sink there's a you can't even see it but there's a strainer in there and not have stuff on the counter anymore um but i have to stay on top of it right now the dishwasher is running and that's just something I need to work on is staying on top of the dishes. So, the kitchen is clean. Now, normally I would straighten up the um, breakfast nook, but um, Hubby is using it as his drawing table right now. And I'm good with that. I mean, you can't have your house totally prettified all 100% of the time. You need to use your spaces. And right now, he's using it for drawing. It's a stress reliever for him for right now. So I'm okay. I was in the beginning straightening it up every day and then I just gave up on it. It's not horribly messy. He has some stuff over here and you know, it's not terribly messy. So that's, I'm fine with And that. you can see I was watching YouTube as inspiration. I think this is Sophia that I'm watching. So I straightened up this. I don't know if you can see, it's like an awful glare because the sun is shining in the window here. So I straightened up this. Um, I didn't vacuum because I just vacuumed this the other day, so but it did get mopped in here. And the kitchen got all vacuumed and mopped too. So there was nothing to do in here because it's a hot mess. Because all the stuff in my craft room came in here, so this is not going to be cleaned for a while. So I can turn the light off and shut the door. <laughs> So obviously this is one of the areas that needs attention. This is would be a decluttering project. So um, this is stuff that needs to be taken care of. We decluttered Hubby's office right here. And that's been sitting there, honestly, for a couple weeks. We needed to uh, take care of that. So this bathroom also got cleaned. We don't use it, it's a guest bath. We do use the toilet <laughs> and wash our hands. But this will need to be deep cleaned. Um, the shower and the tub even though we don't use it but it gets it, it actually that tub gets dusty so um the girls are going to come over for a sleepover my grand nieces so i want to make sure that's cleaned up for them before they come over um the next time they have a sleepover so and all this needs decluttered i have not done that so that's one of the things i could do and one of the extra things i could do would be uh clean <laughs> is to clean out the refrigerator so that's in my head a, a list of stuff that needs to be done for extra stuff. Okay, so here's my weekly cleaning checklist. And I'll put the link down below where you can get this. This is from Green Child Magazine. And um, it's a free 80-page planner. And it has cleaning lists, budget planning, meal planning, all kinds of stuff on there. All you have to do is sign up for their um, email uh a newsletter you have to sign up for their newsletter and they will send you a PDF of an 80 page planner it's awesome I use it all the time um, I love using clipboards and yeah so this was from last week and you can see hardly anything got checked off not that I didn't get this stuff done I just sometimes I wasn't checking it off so but to show you my my oh i said five things well i guess it is five things but it's four daily things that i want to do i want to make the bed clean the kitchen straighten the whole house up and clean my office which i should change to clean my desk because i don't it's not an office it's just my desk i want to straighten it up i don't want to you know totally clean it up and then i want to do one extra and that would be laundry declutter something straighten up the garage clean the fridge, all those things that I just mentioned. So this is actually this week. So some days I checked it off and I don't. So I just want to get more consistent on that. But on Wednesday, the oh wait, let's start here. I don't know what happened on Monday. I don't remember. <laughs> so I need to keep this list in view somewhere, like right here on the counter so I 
can refer to it out of sight, out of mind. That's why I have it on a clipboard, but sometimes I don't even work. I really... So, the extra thing I did on Tuesday was deep clean the family room. If you want to see, that was an, a separate video when I did um, my 10-day clean with me challenge. So, I deep cleaned the family room. Um, and then, Wednesday, the garage got cleaned up. That probably only took like 20 minutes. And then... Thursday, yesterday, was the laundry. I do not do a load of laundry every day. I do not like to do that. I know that is a thing with Fly Lady and Clean Mama, but I don't like to do it. It's just me and hubby. For all of our married life, I've always done the laundry one day a week. Um, sometimes it ends up being two because I never finish it. So yesterday, I did all the laundry for the first time in a really long time. And... Um, put it all away and was all done and I like that and then it's done for the weekend my goal is to get all the house all nice so I don't have to do very much on the weekend so hubby and I can just spend time together because he uh, works a lot of hours and I don't want to spend my weekend cleaning and going to the grocery store and all that kind of stuff either so not just cleaning I don't want to do the grocery store so Today's Friday, so the extra thing would be, I'll write in here, is to, I deep clean the tub in the shower. So then on the weekend, I still have the same routine, and um, yeah. Uh, one of the other things I forgot to mention was the patio. The patio needs deep cleaned, um, but I plan on doing this for the cl clean 10-day um, cleaning challenge, hopefully on Tuesday or Wednesday. And the one last um, area that needs deep clean is the porch. Yes, there's just some Christmas stuff out here. And that is going to be on Tuesday or Wednesday, too. So, I can get those out of the way and the house will be totally set. And I might even do something like my extra thing would be clean all the windows in the house. That is clean mama thing. So, um, well, I clean the mama type thing. Or dust everything. It just depends what I feel like doing that day. Okay, that's my plans. Um, you know, I have a general plan. So, again, it's those four things plus something extra. And um, I want to do it early in the morning. I'm hoping to get all that done in an hour. Clean, do the five. Do the four things and then the one extra. I know Fly Lady, and again, I am not doing Fly Lady. Um, if you wanted to follow Fly Lady, you can follow Sophia. And Dee's going to be doing her own thing, and I'm going to be doing my own thing. Um, so I want, I think Fly Lady does 30 minutes. So it's like 15 minutes of cleaning a day, and then 15 minutes of something extra, deep cleaning, decluttering, that kind of thing. So, I'm going to do an hour. I just know I can't get it all done in a half an hour. And I don't work outside the home. And there's no reason why I can't spend an hour every morning. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> cleaning the house. And I'm a little meticulous. And I'm a little slow. I just don't want to run around and get all sweaty. And run around like a chicken with my head cut off. So, um, my goal is to do all that an hour. As to whether that will happen, I never actually time myself. And whatever. And then I want to do a weekly home blessing every Friday. So that the house is clean and set for the weekend. And I don't have to worry about it. And alright. So on Thursday. When I post the video. It's going to be Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday montage. So that's five days of cleaning. And then um, I, I, I might be able to post one that following Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, Thursday is what I might do. Definitely on Thursdays I would do that, but that seems like a lot of um, footage because, you know, I don't know how to tick a lock. But it, it's going to be speed cleaning, but that still seems like seven days worth of cleaning and one video is going to be too much, even if I do speed clean it. Most of it will be speed cleaning. And then, when I do the extra thing, it will be, I'll be showing you some things maybe in detail. So, that's what I have in mind. And I'm just going to, let's see how it goes. I'm going to let it play out naturally and see what happens. So, 
If you want to follow me, that'd be great. Let me know what you're cleaning, what your cleaning routine is. And I'll put a link down below to Fly Lady, to Clean Mama, to Dee's channel, to Sophia's channel. And um, all right, guys, I will see you Thursday for my cleaning routine. So that's it for this video. Enjoy your day.